Guys, smoking cigarettes is bad, I know, but what about e-cigarettes or shisha? Last week, I was talking to one of my long-standing patients. And although he was only 38 years old, he already had several serious health issues. When I had first gotten to know him five years ago, he was severely obese, his blood pressure was through the roof, his cholesterol levels were sky high, and he had already developed diabetes. And as if that weren't enough, he was also a heavy smoker. So, of course, the first thing I told him was that he had to quit smoking. But why is it so important? What happens when we smoke? Various toxins, such as so-called free radicals, damage the innermost protective lining of our arteries. Once that happens, blood lipids, above all cholesterol, can penetrate the arterial wall and massively accelerate the process of arteriosclerosis. And, as we all know, this leads to awful things like heart attacks and strokes. If you've been a heavy smoker for a long time, then e-cigarettes might be a way to wean yourself off of conventional cigarettes. But this isn't really safe either. There are reports of patients sustaining serious and at times even fatal lung damage from e-cigarettes. And of course the healthiest thing for your lungs is plenty of clean, fresh air. Anyway, the patient in our example successfully used the e-cigarette as a stepping stone to quit smoking conventional cigarettes. But then, completely by the way, he told me he smoked a hookah almost every evening to relax. Sorry guys, but I've got some bad news here. When we smoke a hookah, we actually inhale a lot more smoke. And in that way, smoking shisha can be even more dangerous than smoking normal tobacco. But wait, doesn't the water in the hookah pipe filter out harmful substances? Actually, no, that's a common misconception. Only a few substances are soluble in water, while the other substances like nicotine, benzene and tar enter our lungs unfiltered and are then absorbed into our bodies. And as the trend of shisha bars spreads, so too does the number of cases of patients being rushed to our emergency rooms with life-threatening carbon monoxide poisoning. So to wrap it up, here are my conclusions. If you are a non-smoker, great, stay smoke-free and enjoy racking up those health benefits. E-cigarettes might still be less harmful than normal cigarettes and in some cases might make it easier to quit smoking altogether. But we'll have to wait for the research to really know for sure. And Shisha, well, what can I say guys? Despite its sweet flavor, I can't sugarcoat the fact that it's just really bad for us. There's no healthy alternative here. All in all, it's actually quite simple. The only thing that should ever enter our lungs is fresh air. So breathe easy, my friends, stay healthy, stay happy. Yours truly, Dr. Hart. <laughs> <laughs>